right, okay. Hey guys, it's the Tipler3848 here. Hello to all my little tipples, all 20 of you in my tipple nation. We're getting stronger. Okay, so I am doing my BPL from A to Z. I'm carrying it on. Chelsea was the last episode. Go and have a look at that one, the Champions. And we've got Julian Speroni in goal for Crystal Palace, who are, we are doing today. We've got a back four of Confusion. We've got a right back Kelly playing a left back and a left back Ward playing a right back, so fantastic. Uh, you got Dan and Delaney in the middle. Usual prospects there, nothing really to write home about. Then you've got Punchin on the right, MacArthur, Yedinak, Bolassi. Bolassi was an absolute beast for you guys last season, so I can see that he can only get better and better and better. Pacey, quick, skillful, everything you want in a winner. Yedinak is fantastic, a real, real, like, stalwart, sort of crazy, strong, reads the game well, he's a perfect CDM, and you've got MacArthur obviously just allowing him to do his defensive work, allowing MacArthur to go on. Next you've got Yuan Kabai, your new signing, a fantastic signing. He's the sort of signing that will take Crystal Palace from the level they're at to the next level. Great shot, great passing, Yuan Kabai. He's obviously, Alan Pardew has pulled a few strings there from his Newcastle days, but that's fine for you guys. Dwight Gale up front. I really like Dwight Gale. He Again, he's pacey. He's got ridiculous finishing ability, so I'm kind of sad that Arsenal let him go because he was too small when he was a teenager. But you guys have profited brilliantly, so you can't say too much about that. On your subs bench, I have got Wayne Hennessy, Zaha, Ledley, Much Ado About Nothing, Hangerland, Paddy Bamford, who you've just signed on loan, really, really interested to see how he gets on in the Premier League. He's done really well in the Championship over the last couple of seasons, so he's obviously now making the step up to Premier League. And Fraser Campbell, uh, another player that I really like. Just a moment on Punchin, I put him in above Zaha. For me, Zaha and Balassi are a bit samey, but Punchin, for you guys last season, was fantastic. He has gone up another level I didn't know he even had. Maybe he didn't even know he had it, but he's definitely got it, and he's found it, and he's going to stay there. He's a really good player. I think Zaha's a bit raw. His potential is still there. He wasted a lot of time at Man United, which was silly, wasn't it, Wilfred? But he's still only 21, so, you know, he's got time to develop. Punchin is getting older. Maybe Zaha has a perfect mentor there in Punchin, but I'm going to move on. Now for your FIFA 16, what I perceive the upgrades uh, to be and where they need it. So for your first upgrades, I've gone with Balassi and Punchin. Balassi up to overall from a 74 to 76, Punchin going up to a 75. My thinking behind this, Balassi, he had a really good season last season. He's quick, he's pacey, he's really skillful. He, in 35 appearances, uh, was involved in 15 goals, he scored 4, he assisted 11. So that is really, really, really good for a left winger, especially one so young. Punchin, bit more experienced, 28 years old, 39 appearances, 6 goals, 7 assists. Not a bad return for him at all. Crystal Palace didn't have too bad a season last season. They weren't really in a relegation dogfight, which is really good for them. Finally, they seem to be going the right way. So quickly on to the downgrades. The downgrades are Wilfred Zaha, Fraser Campbell. Reason, uh, Zaha, I think his jaunt to Manchester United has really slowed his progress some, which is not good for him. But he has started to pick up now. He's playing for Crystal Palace again. But he's being kept out of the side by Jason Punchin and Balassi because those two are doing really, really, really well. But I've just downgraded him by one point because I think it'd be harsh to go down any further. 35 appearances, 4 goals, 4 assists. He was involved in 8 goals, so that's not so bad. Uh, Fraser Campbell, you know I'm a, a bit of a fan of his. He's a really good player. 68 I've put him down to from 70. 22 appearances, 5 goals, no assists. Not a very good team player, obviously. But 
he is a good player, he will get back, he just needs game time and to basically learn to play it around a bit more, but I'm going to quickly move on to your transfers. First one, goalkeeper, Mr McCarthy, you have, if media reports are correct, got a £3.5 million fee agreed with QPR for this guy, he's 25 only turned out in five games last season, two in the domestic cups, one in each, and three in the Premier League, so I can't really make too much of a fuss about him, or say that he's terrible, because he's not really had a chance, 25 is really young for a goalkeeper, but it'll be interesting to see how he develops for you guys. So the second position you guys need a player, I think, is your strikers. You have a good basis with Dwight Gale, Fraser Campbell, but it's all a bit samey. Sonogo has gone back to Arsenal and then on to Ajax, so you're not getting him back. You need somebody who's tall, who's powerful, muscular, who can hold the ball up. Charlie Austin, Adebayor fit the bill perfectly. If you can go for either one, go for Charlie Austin. Everyone's been linked with him, no one is buying him. I can't understand why. 18 goals and 7 assists in a team that went down what is wrong with clubs like Newcastle, uh, Villa, although Villa might obviously be waiting for the Benteke money to come in before they buy Charlie Austin. But we're talking about Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, if you have the money and if you want him, go and get him now, otherwise it's going to become unobtain unobtainable because he's a fantastic player, many suitors, go and get him. Adabayor might be a good fallback, he is 31 so he's getting on a bit but he might be a good option for a team such as yourselves, just as kind of a backup. But I'm guessing if he moves on from Tottenham, he's not going to be want to be a backup somewhere. But that's what I think. Tell me what do you think. Come throw me some comments. Chuck me a like if you're enjoying it. Chuck me a sub if you're new and want to see more. It's quite that simple. I'm going to stop now because I've had a sore throat all morning. That's why my voice probably sounds quite croaky and strange. And I've been kind of cutting in and out where I need to draw my breath for a sec. So I just wanted to get this video out, carry on the series, because I'm really get, really enjoying it and I'm really hoping to get it all done and dusted by the Premier League start, which is in uh, two weeks on Saturday. So I've really got my work cut out for me. Crystal Palace, done. But come and let me know what you think, because that is the greatest thing about football. It's debatable. Every single thing is debatable, down to decisions, to formations, to tactics, to players, to who should buy who, who should get what. Everything's debatable. Everyone has an opinion. Come bring yours to the table and let's have a chat and see how it goes. But this has been the tip of 3848. I'm out.